So, today I'm making a video describing, again, so yesterday I made a video of the first day that I met Josh, my boyfriend, and I really like doing that, I really like talking about that, so I've decided to now make a video of first impressions, um, aka like when I first met him, and like within the first couple of weeks, and then, yeah, that's pretty much all. But because, I don't know if this is just from my personal experience, but I think everyone feels this way in any relationship, friends, family, or friends, or, uh, you know, relationship, uh, which is that, you know, when you first meet someone, you see a different side of them, and then through time, you get to know them and you see them for, you know, who they really are, and I think that's interesting. And I also think back on, you know, friendships, if you made a friendship more recently in life, uh, I say that because a lot of my friendships are from, like, kindergarten, so I don't even remember when I met them, but the more recent friendships that I've made, it's interesting because when you first meet someone, you know, they seem a certain way, you have a certain judgment of them, or you have a certain perception of them, and then it's like really sometimes startling or stark or just really interesting how once you start to know them better and once they start to open up their true self, that true self of them is, from my experience, a lot different than that first initial meeting or that first initial, like, uh categorizing of them. I think back to some friends that I've made, yeah, it's just kind of weird how it changes like that. Anyway, so I decided to do it with, um, with my relationship with Josh, because I, th whoa, flies, sorry, there's flies flying around. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> because, anyways, I'm doing this video, I hope to make it fast again. I like the shorter ones, they're more fun. I don't like when I keep babbling on, so maybe I should do time restrictions for myself. Alright, so, First impressions of Josh, my boyfriend. So when I first met him, as I said in my previous video, I met him at the movie theater. He was like the projection guy that like, you know, works up above in the projection room. Sometimes he's also worked in different areas, but um, pretty much he's a projectionist and I was the bartender. And um, yeah, instantly we had a connection and we just talked a ton. And um, anyways, okay, so initial. As I said in the other video, my first like snap initial thoughts of him were, um, as I said, tall, like had the air of like that he was really cool, but also I sensed uh, inner slash outer um, like self-consciousness, kind of like kind of defensiveness and like, you know, that type of thing. I don't know. Um, it's hard to explain. I hope that this video doesn't embarrass him at all. I won't try to do anything embarrassing. I'm just talking my truth. Um, anyways, so um, yeah, okay. So at first he was just like a normal guy that he seemed cool, interesting, uh, you know, good looking, whatever. And, um, but then, as I said, once you start talking, this is the first initial thoughts of him. So once you start talking, I was just like, whoa, this guy's way cooler than I thought. Well, this guy's, like, really unique and interesting. I've never met someone like this. I've never heard someone talk like this. And a lot of people around him, everyone seemed to like him or know him, that the people that we worked with. But a lot of people didn't really seem to understand his humor. And a lot of people didn't really seem to, like, really get him. And I did. I thought I did, at least. I understood his humor. I thought it was really weird. And I was like, what the? Uh, yeah, I was very intrigued, as I mentioned in the other video. So yeah, that was just my first impression. Oh, I forgot to start the timer. Ah, okay. Uh, I'll do three minutes, okay? Yee. Okay, so for, that was my first impression of him. And also, I remember the first day that I met him, he told me all about his dreams. Like, he told me all about his directing. He wants to direct movies and stuff. And he told me, like, in depth about it. And I was like, whoa, that's really deep stuff. Um, so that was another first impression. I was like, dang, he has good morals and big dreams. And, um, yeah, I was just very interested. And I was very, like, in awe of him. Anyways, okay. So that was my first initial. Um, and then the next few weeks, you know, when you're first starting to get to know them and building up the relationship and stuff, um, it was really fun. I thought it was, like, really... In tense and exciting because it was like during the busy season at the movie theater and uh so yeah there's like kind of lots of tension and like I was new so like I was still like learning all the bartending stuff and there was just a lot going on so it was kind of stressful but also it was like worth it was like the stressfulness was okay you know it was worth it because there's this other stuff going on with me Josh that was really exciting and he used to come over to the bar um you know I worked kind of separately from people I was at the bar and he used to come over and um I don't think I'm going to make this in three minutes. Okay, but anyways, he used to come over and talk to me a bunch, and, um... Okay. And my impression of him 
when we were first getting to know each other, like when we used to talk a bunch, was again, I felt like he knew that he was really cool and that he knew that he was like different and I felt, and he seemed like really confident, even though as I said he did seem kind of like self-conscious or something, but he also seemed really confident and so I was actually pretty intimidated by him and I felt really special that he would come over and talk to me and yeah, and I remember he had like, he, in the beginning when I was first getting to know him, he never had much facial expression and he didn't really have much body language, so really the only thing I could take from him was, well, all of his words, he would talk a lot, but it was just his eyes. I remember his eyes were just like kind of dull, but also like bared into my soul. So I remember when he used to sit and talk to me at the bar, um, cause he would have breaks so he'd eat all this food while he was sitting there. But anyways, he'd talk to me and I would just, I could barely look him in the eye because I was so like intimidated or something. I was like, whoa, cause his eyes were just like really something. I don't know. They had, I felt like they were like burying into my soul or something. So yeah, I would, I would get really sweaty around him and I would get really like nervous, but I also loved it and I really would look forward to it every day when he would talk to me. I would always be really excited if we were working at the same time and stuff. Anyways, um, and he was very like short-winded kind of over a text message. We did a lot of our talking over a text message in the beginning and it was like the most exciting, interesting thing. He was the most best person to text because we had really interesting combos and a lot of it was just like humor and like weird, it, we were just being weird and it was awesome. and. But also he would write back really short things and he just back then he was kind of hard to read. Like, I didn't really know. He was never flirty with me. He never like said anything that made me think that he liked me or anything. It just, the only indication that I had that he might have had interest in me is that he talked to me all the time. Okay. So, um, so yeah, he wasn't very flirty or he never really gave me many signals that he liked me. Um, but honestly, when I look back, that's actually part of the reason why I continued to be interested in him because I was like unsure, he was very mysterious and um, I also respected him because he wasn't like classic boys and just like trying to flirt all the time and you know just being kind of gross. So I respected him for that and also it kept my interest so yeah I am grateful that he wasn't really too flirty but sometimes it was kind of like, I don't know, just kind of like whoa does he even like me? He like never shows any signs but that's okay. Um, uh, but I do remember one time <laughs> uh, we were texting and he said something like, not that there's anything wrong with that. And I was like, oh, I was like, is that a Seinfeld reference? You know, from the episode, if you watch Seinfeld. And he was like, I remember he wrote back something that was actually enthusiastic. I was like, oh, wow, maybe he does like me. Because he wrote back, um, N that makes you even more attractive that you know about Seinfeld or something. And I was like, oh my, more attractive, oh my, he must think I'm attractive. So yeah, that was like a sign, I guess. And then a different time, I remember, um, <laughs> On Christmas Day, my mom had given me these really extreme socks that were like socks that go up to like you know up to the knee that were like striped red and white for Christmas, and that had like Santa Claus or had like puff puff balls around it. It was like really, it was a uh, very odd, <laughs> odd looking socks, but I wore them because it was Christmas and my mom gave them to me, you know. And I felt kind of goofy in them. But I remember that was like the first day he's ever given me a compliment because I remember he said, "Hey, nice socks," and I was like, "Oh, oh my gosh!" Like he gave me a compliment. So yeah. Um, but yeah, sometimes I did feel kind of silly around him for sure, because sometimes he had the ability, at least back then, maybe he still does, but um, to make me feel really goofy and make me feel really like, I don't know, because I remember one time I uh, accidentally spilled all this ice, like tons and tons of ice in the back, um, and then he walks by and he just looks all like stony faced, and uh, he just looks down and I'm like trying to pick up all this ice and he just looks down at me and he's just like, He just looks down at me and he's just kind of like, oh, like, looks like you spilled some ice. And he just keeps going on with his day and I was like really embarrassed and stuff. So anyways, he had the ability to be like that back then. But anyway, um, so what else, what else? Okay, one more thing about when I was first getting to know him. So yeah, I was kind of intimidated by him, but I was also really intrigued by him. I mean, he was nice to me, of course. He's very nice to me. But um, anyways, but another thought. Another like big thing about when I was first meeting him was like I felt this energy between us that I never experienced really. Maybe I have, but not to this extent. Where like literally just being near him, like physically like near him, I felt this extreme energy. Like oh my gosh. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like sometimes he'd help me put up the bottles. I worked as I said at the bar, so like I had to like put displays up, and it was pretty tall. So sometimes he'd come over and put them up for me since he's super tall. He can just reach up there easier. And I remember sometimes we'd be standing really close to each other and I was just like, whoa, I could hardly like bear the energy. It was like this intense energy. Um, or, uh, yeah, sometimes, you know, when he'd come sit by the bar, I'd feel that same way, like just like, whoa, just like intense. But the most 
intense of times. It was this, the first time we ever went to a movie together. So like we got to go to free movies sometimes working at the movie theater, you know, as like a employee thing. So like after hours, we'd sometimes have showings. So it was after hours, so it was kind of late and yeah, so there's, it wasn't just me and him, it was a bunch of people, but um, me and him sat next to each other at the movie. It was like Star Wars or something. I don't remember even because I couldn't even pay attention to the movie. Like I literally could not pay attention to the movie. Mostly, mostly because sitting next to him was like causing so much energy within me. I was just like, I can't even explain it. I, know, I was just like, whoa, being near him was like a big deal. Like being near him, like I felt the energy, whoa. Like I had to excuse myself a couple of times to go to the bathroom because it was just like too much. I was just like, whoa, this is like extreme energy. Like the universe is like, hey, notice this energy. Um, yeah, I just remember being super sweaty around him, <laughs> which I guess is a sign or something. Okay, so that's enough for now. Um, that was my first impressions of him, and I will also say that, my my, things really do change. Like, through time, I realize that he's, like, very expressive, and that he's very sweet, and, like, the most kind-hearted person, and very loving, and, um, he's very warm. He's just, like, I do sometimes think fondly back onto those first impressions of him, because it was fun to be talking to such a mysterious, cool person. But also, of course, I really appreciate who he truly is, which is, like, the most sensitive, sweet person ever, um, who would never want to hurt me on purpose or make me feel silly or whatever. Um, yeah, and he's very, he's very open, he's very expressive, and, uh, so anyways, it just really, it's, like, a big difference to me, like, looking back in the beginning and then seeing him for who he truly is now. Uh, yeah, so I will just, I just wanted to conclude by saying he wasn't, he is a lot different, oops, he's a lot different than my first impressions of him. So anyways, there's that. Uh, yeah, I prompt you to think about some of your friendships or relationships and think about what your first impression of them was compared to what the relationship is now. It's interesting, if you remember at least, but uh, yeah. So I think I'll do more on this type of stuff because it's fun for me at least to talk about relationships and stuff like that. Okay, bye, have a good day.